Hoo-wee, have you got good timing. I got a special stock to share with you today. I found a stock that I can virtually guarantee is going to make you money in the next 10 days. <laughs> Interested? I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot, and this is Tuesday. It is March 12th. Now, what I like to do on this show is just to share my own personal due diligence with you on a hot penny stock. I trade penny stocks every day. These are stocks under five bucks, and it doesn't matter what market they're on. If they're under five bucks, they're a penny stock. And I am particularly keeping my eye open for stocks that have potential to make us money. And I found a hot one for us. This is Graphite BioInc, ticker GRPH. On the 8th of this month, the company came out with news that they are involved with a merger. And in connection with that merger, they are going to give us, the shareholders, a cash special dividend. A juicy one. Well, when the news came out, the stock ran, as you would expect. It's been stuck in a channel for a real long time. It broke out of that channel. But you know what? It came back into the channel today. And this is looking better and better. So Graphite Bio finished today at $3.40, and she did drop back into that channel almost 9%. Now, this is a penny stock on the major exchange, the NASDAQ, which comes with benefits. You don't have to pay for any transactions. You can trade it pre-market, after-market. And let's face it, there's a heck of a lot more volume and money upon the major exchanges. So what is Graphite Bio about? Well, they tell us she's a shell company, which means she's not doing anything right now. So what she's about is she's a shell company waiting for something to happen, a merger, an acquisition. Guess what? It's happening right now. They tell us here that Graphite historically has been a clinical stage, next generation gene editing company. But in February of last year, Graphite announced its decision to discontinue the development of their lead product candidate for sickle cell disease. And from that point, they're looking. And right now they found something. So what was the relative volume around the company today? That's a nice jump. That's got to be at least seven, eight times their normal volume, going from roughly 90,000 shares a day for the last 30 days to over 700,000 shares today. Share structure for the company. Outstanding share count. We got about 59 million here. You know, I'm going to round that up to 60 million because that's a number that's going to come in handy here in a few minutes. So we got about 60 million in the outstanding share count, and I have no idea what the float is. They don't tell us. We do know it's not going to be higher than the outstanding share count, so it won't be any higher than 58.2 million, and it could be considerably less. Market cap for the company right now is $216 million. Financials, well, we just told you they're a shell company, so we're not going to see any money annually or quarterly. Absolutely nothing. But they got a balance sheet, so what do they look like? Whoa, got a lot of money in the bank, don't they? $185 million. That's not $185,000. They tell us we got to add three zeros to any of the numbers on these charts. So they got a lot of money in the bank, and most of their assets is in cash. They got total assets of $188 million. And total liabilities, chump change. Look at that, less than $5 million. So the company has no revenues whatsoever, has no business whatsoever, and yet we have positive stockholder equity of $183 million in this company. Woohoo! I'm liking that. Take a look at those disclosures now. Well, we do have some fresh filings over here. We've got two 8Ks and two 425s, and all of these are associated with the big news. So let's just jump over into that. Now, this came out on the 8th, just a few days ago. Graphite Bio declares a special dividend in connection with proposed merger with Lens Therapeutics. Now, who exactly is Lens Therapeutics? Well, they tell us down here that Lens is a late-stage biopharmaceutical company focused on developing and commercializing innovative therapies to improve vision. Its two product candidates are preservative-free, single-use, once-daily eye drops, currently in phase three clinical trials, the very last trial before it goes on the market. This is for the treatment of presbyopia. Presbyopia impacts an estimated 1.8 billion people globally, 
and 128 million people in the United States. That there is their customer base. So they go on to tell us that this special dividend is going to be worth a dollar three because they aren't going to be giving out any more than $60 million. How many shares were there? Just over 58 million. That's why I said, remember 60 million. So we're going to have just a little over a dollar a share. So they tell us here, the company's board of directors has declared a special dividend in connection with the previously announced merger with Lens Therapeutics. The special dividend, which the company estimates will be $1.03 per share, has a record date of March 18th, the cutoff date when you have to have your shares on record, and they're going to pay you in three days. March 21st, 2024, you'll get your dividend. So you buy 1,000 shares tomorrow, by March 21st, you'll have $1,000 in your account in cash because this is a cash dividend, not a stock dividend. Now, let me give you a few details here, how this can play out. When news comes out about a dividend, the stock starts to run. You get ups and downs and she climbs. Then you have your record date come and everything stops. The next day, normally under most circumstances, you can sell your shares and you still qualify for the dividend. So what happens the day after the record date? Yeah, it dumps. There's a sell-off. Most people who get into these stocks aren't getting into it for an investment. They're just playing it to capitalize on the dividend. So the following day is normally the worst day to sell because it falls and falls fast. Now, there is a rule you may want to consider here. It came to my mind. They say that they are going to give away no more than 60 million. Well, what was the market cap? 213 million. Well, that is more than 25%, 60 million of 213. And a dollar is more than 25% of $3.40. Why do I keep saying that? Because there is a rule that says if a special dividend is over 25%, they move the ex-dividend date. Now, this is the big lesson I need you to pay attention to, folks. The ex-dividend date is when you must have your shares. The ex-dividend date for March 18th is two days before. It is the 16th. Why? For transaction time. It's like taking a check to the bank. You may deposit it today, but it takes three days to clear before the money is actually in your account. Same thing here. You buy the shares on the 18th, they're not going to show up in the system until the 20th and you do not qualify for your dividend even though you legitimately bought them on time. So you must buy them no later than two days before the record date. That is the ex-dividend date. Here we're talking about the 16th. With a special dividend, they move that ex-dividend date. You can't sell your shares the day after the record date. They move the ex-dividend date to after the pay date, one day after the payment date. So you have to hold your shares through the record date up to the payment date and wait till you're paid. Then you can sell your shares. Why do they do that? They do that to actually try to prevent a big dump on the market. With every single dividend that's given, as soon as the dividend is given, that much is dropped on the price. If it's a dollar dividend, the price will drop a dollar. That's the way it works for all dividends every single time. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to stay down. We could be pumping it up. We could be pushing it down. But that does come into play. Now, nobody has mentioned the 25% rule here. But if you do like a lot of people are going to do and you sell your shares on the 19th, believing that you qualify, and you may... I don't know for fact you won't, but the math tells me this is more than a 25% dividend. And even though the company isn't bringing it up, FINRA might, the SEC might, and if you sold your shares on the 19th, you don't get the dividend. And chances are, if you sold on the 19th, you sold at a lower price than you wanted to, and you may have lost money. Now you're really going to be upset. So we've got a merger going on here. We're really not worried about when they're going to close it, although they're going to close it on the 21st. If they close it, we get our dividend. If they don't, there is no dividend. 
So fingers crossed, nothing goes wrong there. And you're going to get your dividend just that quick, folks. In 10 days, like I told you at the beginning, they are going to put this money into your account because it's not stocks, it is cash. Now we're going to go take a look at the chart, but keep in mind, we're not playing this for the run on the chart. We're playing it for the dividend. But what do you do if it starts to run? Do you sell some and get some profit or do you just hang on to all your shares and wait for your dividend? Oh man, decisions, decisions. Let's go check out this chart. So this is my free trading platform, Think or Swim, Think or Swim. These are my viewers. So we're taking a look at Graphite Bio, ticker GRPH, and we are looking at a six month, four hour view. So we got a low bubble here halfway through November of $1.87. And the day the news came out, the 8th, we hit our high of $4.50. Now, as you can see, she was in a downtrend here for about three months, hit that low bubble, bounced up, and nothing changed. Went right back to that downtrend. Then here, she had a breakout, and I have no clue why. But she continued climbing, rolling on that 50-day SMA all the way up. Now I am going to grab my regressive channel here to give us some perspective. I'm going to poke the day of the low bubble and drag that to current times. And as you can see, we are in a channel. She's been in this channel for months. And here on the 8th, she did break out of it strong. She jumped from $3.10 all the way up to $4.50, only to come right back down into the channel. We are now at $3.40 and she is sitting on top of her 200-day haul, which is just as strong as your 200-day SMA. So actually, that's not bad positioning. As you can see, all of our SMAs, the price, the channel, everything is on an uptrend right now. The only thing that doesn't look good is our oscillators. This falling for the last 24 hours has taken its toll and every oscillator is falling as well. Taking a look at our 20-day, one-hour view. She's still on an uptrend there. She's bouncing off of her 200-day SMA and climbing. But keep in mind, folks, most of us aren't playing this for the gain. We're playing it for the dividend. Chances are when you go to sell it after the record date, the price is going to be falling. So you may have a decision to make. If this was to run tomorrow or the next day and go up 200%, Maybe you might want to sell a couple of your shares and grab some of that profit and keep some of your shares and get some dividends. You're going to have to do the math and see which one plays out better for you. Again, our oscillators are looking wicked right now. All of them are going straight to you know where. Isn't looking nice. Taking a look at our five day, five minute. So what do we got here? Pretty much going sideways, right? Starting here, going straight across. Over the last five days, she's had some volatility, but she hasn't moved anywhere. We hit a low here of $3, ripped up to $4.50. When she fell, she fell down to her 200-day SMA. Bounced off of that, came down to the center core of our channel. Bounced off of that, hit her head on the 200, and now she is falling. Remember, the cheaper you can get it, the more the dividend is worth. We always like to buy cheap. And I do believe this is probably going to fall some more, but I think there's going to be a lot of volatility. I think she's going to bounce down. She's going to bounce up. I really don't know where she's going to go. What I do know is that we're going to get a dollar for every share that you own. What I don't know, can you sell the day after the record date of the 18th? You got to buy them at least no later than the 16th. But can you sell them on the 19th like normal? It looks like this dividend is over 25%, though nobody has said anything. I hate to be caught by that rule. So you may want to keep that in mind, folks. I like GRPH because in 10 days, we're going to have money in our pockets one way or the other. But do your own due diligence. I didn't cover everything, right? And it is your money you're investing. Remember, folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.